so welcome to my channel, Wine Now with Brand. I wanted to come and talk to you guys about identity today. And so, let me just jump right into it. So I was watching TV this weekend, and one of the questions that the student was asked was, who are you? And so when she responded to the question, some of the things she responded with was um, her name, um, her activities that she participated in in school, um, the sports that she was in and things like that and so after I heard the question it made me think about how would I respond if I was asked that question like what is the most important thing that I would want someone to know about me I know with social media and everything like that it's so hard to it's so easy to get wrapped up into like if my identity is in how many followers I have or how many people comment on my posts or how many people have subscribed to my channel or anything like that and as someone who's starting new into like this whole social media platform it's so easy for me even for myself like I have to keep reminding myself like who am I in Christ like what's the most important thing that matters so if I was to respond and answer the question who are you uh, the most important thing I would want someone to know is that I'm a child of God, that God is my father, he's my provider, uh, he thinks that I'm the apple of his eye, he's thought about me since before I was even born, like when I was so, Jeremiah 1 and 5 says that he knew the plans that he had for me while I was still in my mom's womb, so he knew all about me, he knew how to be he, would, he knew my concerns, my worries, my quirks, my um, my personality. Like, he already had me in mind before I was even born. So, I know that my identity is in Christ and not in social media or any followers that I have or don't have or any guy or dating or not dating, my marital status, if I have kids. None of that is important because I know who I belong to. So if you're struggling with your identity, you're welcome to reach out to me. I also suggest that you read Ephesians chapter 1 and 2. It really tells you about who we are in Christ and what he has done for us and the gifts that he has provided for us. So that's all I have for you today and have a good night.